and welcome to another outdoor video vlog by yours truly it's my annual center parks uh, stroll um, this is my third one believe it or not and uh, on this one I'm going to talk about the Fender Princeton Tone Master um, an amp I bought just over a year ago when the first came out why did I buy it um, my blues junior basically blew up at a gig it was a, a it was quite strange really it was at uh, it was uh, at uh, one of the tributes for my mate Phil Doc um, who passed away sadly and uh, I don't know whether Doc was angry with the uh, <laughs> the sound of the Blues Junior but uh, it blew up before I could play that gig so I, I just borrowed another fella's amp and uh, it, it was always so portable that amp um, and loud enough for most lower volume situations even life so I like to replace it, plus the fact it's got um, the cab sim DI out, and I've used that for recording very successfully too. And you don't need a mic live, um, but I haven't really got a chance to play that uh, amp uh, in a live band setting um, until recently. So I thought I'd just talk about that in case people are interested in how that works. Um, first up, I'd say absolute joy it's very light that i'm very portable stuck it on the back seat of the car i could put my pedal board alongside it on the back seat there so massive uh props for that you know if you're looking for a lightweight gigging amp and you're not playing it uh, you're not in a metal band or anything like that heavy rock with a super loud stadium type drummer it's definitely worth looking at for, as a gigging amp um Partly because you can connect it through the PA easily and uh, partly because it, if you put it, prop it up high enough, I had it like two feet off the ground on a bar stool, get it closer to your ear level, that amp is actually, um, it's quite a focused sound and you can, you know, you, you can hear enough to uh, play with a live drummer bass player. There was another guitar player, he had the Fender Princeton, uh, the Valve one. And we had a keyboard player and singer, and it, and this, uh, it was a kind of a rehearsal tryout for me, really. Um, to be fair, they all play at uh, low rehearsal volumes. I haven't had it a full a full gigging situation yet, but the amazing thing is, um, at, at its 12 watt maximum setting, because you can attenuate it down to a third of a watt, that that was still probably a bit loud. <laughs> Sorry if I'm breathing a bit heavy here. It's pretty cold in centre parks today. Um, yeah, I actually attenuated down to six watts and I had it on three. And I could still hear myself quite well. It gives you an idea, really. Um, the speaker in the, the Tone Master Princeton is... I'm just coming up to some people here, so I'll, I'll apologise. There's not a lot I can do. Um, I'll keep yakking on as usual. There's a lot of people ride bikes around here and that they can hire bikes and everything. And you have to kind of watch where you're going because bikes just fly out of nowhere down the hills and that. So, yeah. Well, I was like, yeah, six watts I had it set on and um, and, and three on the volume and that was loud enough for this. What admittedly was a low, low level rehearsal. I'm imagining if I went on to the 12 watts that uh, that I would, you know, and about four or five on that amp, which is a sweet spot for me, I would be um, more than uh, more than loud enough that, that I need to be in that particular band. So, any negatives? Well, I will say I was using uh, I was using an exotic EP booster. That was always on on my pedal board and the Greer light speed and that was pretty well always on so that was giving a lot of um, extra volume to the amp and I, it's a band that's mainly for the rhythm settings it's it's quite a clean sounding uh, guitar you want sort of like it on the edge of breakup sound should we say and that, it was fine with all that so yeah, if you are going to do this with a, an amp like that, 
you know a couple of low gain overdrive pedals or boosters certainly helps you to uh, get the sound out there um, the negative for me you have got a very directional 10 inch speaker but it is a Jensen it's not one of those light near dims that they use in the other Tone Masters amps uh, it's very directional so you, you need to be careful where you place it basically the amp so you can hear it um, and you're not blowing somebody's head off really because it just really throws out in one direction obviously as soon as you stray out of the direction of that uh, sort of speaker you, you might lose the sound a bit so you, you have to be a bit disciplined um, there's no real headroom in an amp that small um, so when you do put a higher gain pedal on distortion pedal or fuzz you're not getting like a massive leap in uh, volume or anything like that um, in fact it does it can because it's only a small sort of cabinet small speak it can flub out a little bit but uh, again if you're careful how you set your pedals and use your volume knob on your guitar it's doable and it's certainly um, for anybody who, who, who finds it tricky to log 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 you can tell them in the forest can I say log anybody who finds it tricky lugging big amps around cabs and that these uh, Tone Master Series fenders are a real viable proposition I can't recommend them high enough so does it sound like a valve amp uh, ish yeah it's it's was it close to the guys Princeton it was certainly close enough does it feel the same one of the fingers I couldn't tell you that but I'm imagining probably not um, not the same it doesn't feel the same as a valve amp under the fingers but it's more than adequate it's it's you're 90% of the way there in my opinion and for what you want to do with it that's more than enough really it sounds good the reverb's brilliant on it I think a lot of the processing power of the uh, Tone Master series is it, it does go on creating that wonderful Fender spring reverb sound so I haven't played it in an actual live gig yet um, I'll probably come back on that one but certainly good stuff so far and I really recommend the Princeton if you're thinking is it loud enough compared to say the Deluxe uh, Tone Master um, I'd say unless you're playing in sort of like a real classic rock or sort of metal band um, it, it is certainly adequate so from a very cold centre park so thanks for watching uh, stay safe keep safe and i'll catch you all later guys bye